Hello, my friends. I am so excited to show you my Mini Kit Monday Layout Chair and Killa Kit. I love the way this came out because my layouts don't necessarily look exactly alike this month. So I will start, and there's process videos and all that for this stuff. So this is my first one. I did use this very large mermaid die cut in this that I added from the Creative Kits Club. That's where that die cut's from. Um, I don't know, was there anything else from that? I don't believe so. Maybe these sequins, maybe. Oh yes, this the little shell sequins were from that, but there is a process video for this one. Then the next layout I did was this one right here called Dedicated to Sweat. And I also incorporated a Mind the Scrap and Scrap Squad challenge within this layout, but this is kind of fun. It's scuffy, it's bright, it's colorful. So it's colorful like this one right here, but definitely a different vibe going on. I always have sticky notes because my memory is just not gonna remember everything I had going on. So I did this one for Mini Kit Monday as well. This is my last layout that I filmed for Mini Kit Monday, but I'll show you. I did a bonus layout as well. I did a challenge for Mind the Scrap with this one. And then I did this one for Challenge Accepted using my Mini Kit Monday kit, as well as a Scrap Squad and Mind the Scrap challenges. So there is a process video here. So then what I want to show you is my Killa Kit. And I did pretty well. Not great, pretty well. And I will take pretty well. All right, so let me show you because I'm not organized in any way. This is a little bin I keep my kits on that I'm working with for the month. And let's see, I'm going to move this stuff out of the way a tiny bit because I'm in a different area, so I don't have as much room to spread out right now. So let me show you. I was working with this pattern paper pad was my main paper that I was going for. And it was a six by six. And I used some, not a ton, but I did definitely use some. I'm happy I have any kind of traction. And the thing is, the colors in here, I can use and use and use. Not too worried about that. I was taking my 12 by 12s from the Pineapple Crush collection, and I did use one for each layout, but that doesn't necessarily get me too far either. Those are definitely not killed. For my alphas, I pulled two of these, never had to open the second one of this one, but I did do quite a few. Um, words with this and I used this one a ton so I was very happy with where I got with that one and yes that's holographic it kind of does funky things to the camera so I did get a little traction now I don't did not expect to use them up I just expected to get some use and I used these for just one title I believe and I love them really enjoy doing a title there now let's see what's what what I really thought I'd use more of this and nope didn't use it at all I am dropping little paper scrappy things um, from this was a full set of chipboard so I used quite a bit and I was able to use a nice amount on non beach layouts and that was kind of cool I always like to try to to stretch my supplies and this this um, collection really was good for that. So let's see. I had a just a piece of um, cardstock. These were from my 12 by 12 papers. 12 by 12 paper. These I have a couple of these little strips. I will not be keeping them. Next, I this was a new six by 12 or 12 by 12, depending on how you think. Sticker sheet, when I started, I did use a bit of it, not enough. What else do we have in here? Never even opened this. Absolute epic failure on that one. Um, I really thought I would use this up, didn't touch it. 
same. Never had to get into this either. I had plenty with what I had opened up. Didn't use this sticker that I was trying to use and I don't believe I opened these either. The good news is I have my oldest daughter is in Maryland on the shore right now and I have lots of beach pictures that she's sending to me in the last couple days so I can use more beach stuff, more summery stuff. Couple more of these little strippy doos. Let's see. I think I only used one of these. These little fellas I'm having a hard time using and I absolutely love epoxy. It makes no sense whatsoever. And then finally, I did not use this little guy. Remember I had this one and I had a pineapple journaling, sorry, not pineapple, watermelon, watermelon journaling block that I really wanted to use. So I used the watermelon, not that one, which is okay in a way because I can use that in almost anything. Did not dip into these. I was surprised and didn't dip into these. So my plan of, oh, I'm gonna totally use blah, blah, blah up, failed fully. And then this I never needed to get into. I believe I showed you this and I thought, okay, if I used everything up in every way, I'd still have something to work with, like a little backup, didn't need the backup. So, oh, and I have one little rogue sticker that says the best summer that goes somewhere. So that is it, my friends. I knew I don't know where it goes. Um, I think I did all right. I don't think I did great. Oh, I seeing if it goes here. I think I did all right. So no, it doesn't go there. I don't know where it goes. Anywho, that is it for my mini kit Monday for the month of August. I am beyond excited for the mood board for September. So after this, I'm going to run downstairs and start pulling my kit for that. Very excited to see how that comes together because the cooler it gets outside, the more scrappy time I have inside, which is weird because, you know, when we're going into spring, we're like, hey, you're going to be outside so much. Okay, I want to craft. <laughs> I'm getting, getting that strong itch where I want to craft. So I hope you like what I did with my handy dandy little layouts. Like I said, I think they all came out very differently from each other. The subjects are very different. I thought I'd do so much more in beachy, but I have a dog. I have hot yoga. <laughs> I mean, seriously, a dog layout, a hot yoga. Here is finally a beach layout. I mean, we've got mermaids. They're on a boat, the whole thing. Then I have a faster horses layout. So, you know what? Just because you put together a pretty, pretty beachy does not mean that your kid is the boss of you. You can go any which way that you want, right? Okay, that's it for today, guys. Come back in a heartbeat because chances are I'll have another video for you. Goodbye, friends.